Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling with Green Pinstripes. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the NXT TakeOver New Orleans Review. Let's get on with it, shall we? TakeOver New Orleans kicks off with a six-man ladder match for the NXT North American Championship. The participants were Adam Cole, Ethan Carter III, or as uh, now in the WWE, EC3, thanks to a trademark from Impact Wrestling, Velveteen Dream, Lars Sullivan, and a few others I will uh, probably mention at a, at another time, but uh, yes, uh, this was an excellent match. It felt like uh, the old uh, WrestleMania matches between uh, Edge and Christian, J- the Hardy Boys, the Dudleys. I mean, it was that kind of quality. Excellent. I mean, like uh, they set the stage really high. Uh, all these uh, six competitors, they put it out all on the line. I mean, it had chaos, but. It wasn't completely overblown, and Ricochet, who was one of the competitors, he impressed everybody because uh, he was he definitely stole the show. But at the end, Adam Cole wins the match to become the NXT North American Champion. Excellent match to start the show. I gotta give them props for that. Excellent match. Excellent. The next match of the card was uh, between uh, Shayna Baszler versus Ember Moon for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, they had the unfortunate honor to follow up on an excellent uh, opening match of TakeOver. But uh, those two ladies held their own. I gotta say that. Those two ladies, they held their own. It was a pretty good match. I mean, like, uh, but, uh, like, like I said, it wasn't like the previous one. So, but it was still good. And, um, uh, I mean, like, uh, it was uh, also, like, uh, it told a story between uh, Shayna Baszler and Ember Moon. Ember Moon, who was the NXT Women's Champion since uh, TakeOver Houston, was defending her title the second time against uh, Shayna Baszler. The first time was at uh, TakeOver Philly. So this is the second bout, and, uh, like, uh, would a lightning uh, strike for Shayna Baszler? You bet, because uh, at the end of the day, Shayna Baszler put Ember Moon in a submission. Ember Moon passed out, and Shayna Baszler is now your new NXT Women's Championship. Pretty good match. That's all I gotta say. Pretty good match. Next up on the card is... Uh, a, the triple threat match, which was the s- finale of the Dusty Rhodes Classic, as well as the NXT Tag Team Championships. It was Undisputed Era versus uh, Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne versus Authors of Pain in a triple threat, as I mentioned before. It was a pretty good match. It definitely was pretty interesting, to say the least. And uh, as of note, uh, I believe that, uh, like, a uh, Adam Cole had to wrestle in this match because I believe Bobby Fish was uh, injured prior to take over New Orleans. So, like Adam Cole had to pull double duty in one night. First, uh, going on, going up in a ladder match uh, for the North American title, and second, uh, defending the tag titles with the uh, the rest of Undisputed Era. And uh, like it was definitely very interesting. I mean, like in. I mean, throughout the match, it looked like Authors of Pain was going to win back the NXT Tag Team t- titles, but at the end, it was not the case because Roderick Strong turned on Pete Dunne and uh, Undisputed Era remained uh, NXT Tag Champions. And after the match, uh, Roderick Strong pretty much embraced uh, Adam Cole and uh, Kyle O'Reilly. So now it looks like Roderick Strong is part of the Undisputed Era. Let's see what happens uh, afterwards uh, going forward. Next up uh, at the in the match uh, w- card was uh, Alistair Black versus Andrade Cien Almas for the NXT Championship. Pretty good match. Uh, and uh, the one fact uh, that uh, I would say, though, is that last year at TakeOver prior to WrestleMania, Alistair Black and Andrade Cien Almas uh, faced each other. So... You could kind of say everything went full circle because uh, Alistair Black uh, became a big star in NXT and uh, Andrade Cien Almas uh, definitely improved from a year before thanks to Zelina Vega who became uh, his manager. And uh, like uh, it was uh, definitely a pretty good match. Uh, I mean both of them have uh, ca- chemistry when it came to their feud. And despite uh, Almas uh, using all of his dirty tricks in the book, it was Alistair Black who won the NXT Championship, 
and uh, faded uh, Andrade Cien Almas to black. That's all I got to say. Pretty good match. The final match of the evening was Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. And like the opening match, this was an excellent match. It told a story. It was a year in the making. It all, even uh, like it started all the way back in the Cruiserweight Classic when both of them were trying to advance to the next round. So that's uh, that's how like a... Uh, this feud started. I mean, they were a tag team for like a for a good part of 2016 and early 2017 in NXT. So like a at Takeover Chicago, Tommaso Ciampa turned on uh, Johnny Gargano, and uh, like uh, that's where the rest is history. I mean, like both sides, they told a a great story. I mean, like a uh, this was a fight in the making for a long time. The both of them put it all on the line. And at the end, Gargano wins and is reinstated back into the NXT roster. In case if you missed it on a previous, uh, like one of the previous episodes of uh, NXT, Gargano put his NXT career on the line against Andrade Cien Almas, and uh, Gargano lost the match. Therefore, in storyline, he was uh, fired from NXT. But in this. Um, in this match, uh, Gargano is now reinstated, and uh, I got a feeling that it's not technically over with this feud. I got a feeling that there's still going to be one more match. One more match between those two guys. That's all I got to say. Overall, I'm going to give this uh, grade an A+. The first A-plus takeover on this podcast review for like a for an NXT takeover this like blew out of the water they blew Houston and Philly out of the water i mean like Houston and Philly were good but the undercard was a little underwhelming in those but this one i mean it was a good uh, NXT takeover with two excellent matches two two excellent matches and commentary was top notch i mean like Mar Ronaldo he did so well that uh, WWE released a announcer ca- an announcer cam of Mar Ronaldo's calls where he's like jumping out of his seat saying mama mia mama mia i was like yeah i mean like you got to appreciate the passion that Mar Ronaldo has on commentary it is so great i mean he's my favorite announcer he he's an inspiration that's all I got to say. He's an inspiration. Without him, I wouldn't be doing this podcast. Without Mauro Ranallo, I would not be talking to you guys in this on this podcast. So I'm going to give him my thanks. Thank you, Mauro Ranallo. You are an inspiration to many of us. So yeah, NXT TakeOver gets an A+. 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 A-plus quality. Will uh, TakeOver Brooklyn... 4BA+, gotta find out next time.